feeling now? I'm pretty upset to be honest. I mean, I started feeling, I started cramping a little bit in the second and when I did get it to a third, I was like, this is not going to go well. Um, so yeah, other than that, I mean, she played really well. Um, and then in the third, second game, I was cramping on serve, like my legs and then my ab and then my hands. So I was, I was literally just trying to make balls and then just go for winners whenever I could because I couldn't play more than like two shots. Um, but other than that, like, you know, it was great playing out there, but yeah. Um, so it was cramping that was giving you the issues during yep. the game? Yeah. I never cramp, that's the thing. I'm like, I've literally never cramped and I cramped today, so that's great. Yeah. Do you think it was heat related at all? Um, no, I like, f the heat didn't really, like, I'm usually, I'm pretty fine with the heat. Um, I don't know, maybe because, maybe stress, I don't know. But I've never really cramped, so I'm not sure what happened there today. I really thought that you were going to come back, especially that second set, you really crawled your way. Up through that yeah, I was literally after some shots, I, my like calves were like getting really tight, and I was like, "Oh no, this is not good. <laughs> Need to keep it short." But um, Astra is obviously a great athlete, and you know she makes you play, and um, you have to, you know, play a few points. I mean, he, lots of rallies, and she would just make you earn it. So, yeah, yeah I, I did notice you guys were really running um, throughout the whole. Um match really um is that something you're used to doing yeah I mean I don't mind a bit of like I never really lose too many matches um on fitness I think uh but like I said she's very fit and <laughs> even all her testing and stuff are crazy like really good so she was definitely the fitter one out there today pretty annoying kind of situation because yeah. you've got two Aussies and you essentially want to see each other like both get through. Yeah. What was that like knowing, you know, if you won or if she won, one of you wasn't going to be... Um, yeah, I mean, forward. it's a good opportunity for both of us. Um, obviously, she's been playing really well and qualified, so I knew I was in for a tough one. Even though she's lower ranked, it still doesn't really matter, like, whoever just performs better on the day. Anyone can beat anyone these days. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm happy for her that she got through to the second round and that there's a lot more Aussies now that are slightly, like, slowly moving up, so it's good. Yeah. Plan, um, after the Oz Open, what are you planning on doing for the rest of the year? Um, well, it kind of depends on Fed Cup as well. It just depends on the selection and that will kind of depend, kind of show my next couple of tournaments it depends if I go to the US or not and hopefully I'll get into Indian Wales but I'll still need a couple of points and my next goal would be to make main draw of French Open so yeah yeah just one so I'm not sure if you covered this off earlier sorry I was late um the pay for um people who have just made it through in the first and second round in the early parts of Grand Slams has been in the news today um mm. how important um Forgive me for being a bit crass in the question, but how important for the people who go out first round and just qualify and scrape through is the payday to set you up for the rest of the year as a professional? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, when you're with the Federation, they help out a little bit here and there. Uh, but for, like, this year I started um, employing my own coach, so I'm paying for him, obviously. And it it's a massive... Like, I mean, first round even just covers so much of your expenses. Just covers for my coach almost for most of the year, just the wages. Um, so it's a big, you know, wait, what's the word? Like, it's kind of when you're playing and, you know, it's not like you're playing football in football and, you, you know, you sign a contract and then you're fine for a year or how many years you sign for. But tennis, you know you have to be healthy and be winning matches to actually make money. So just to have this first round prize money and knowing that I've got it, um, that I can keep playing and paying my coach and not being under stress for that is, is massive.